Hello, my name is Nick Fournier, and I'd like to share something with you. A friend of mine wanted me to create a bench for her kitchen bar. She had an inspiration bench at her house, so I went over to check it out. This is the bench. She really liked how simple it was, but it was way too short for her needs. So I took some measurements and made some notes. She described her tastes and said she didn't like chunky furniture, all while she served me a drink out of a glass she loved. The glass had an extremely thin rim that she thought felt very elegant. That was my concept. Simple yet elegant. So I sketched a profile, grabbed some boards from a pile of scrap, glued them together, and shaped it so the bottom had a very gentle curved taper, making the edge look impossibly thin. I wanted it to look great, but feel even better. The smaller piece was for the footrest. Next came the legs. The month before, I built a machine to cut out notches into the spine of a staircase, starting at the bottom and finishing at the top. Lacking any attachment to possessions, I quickly cut it up, created four 30-inch tapers to use as legs, grounded it smooth, and welded the ends closed. The extreme heat from the welding of the ends created a beautiful patina that I really liked, so I decided to keep it. Then I welded them into pairs and attached the wood to create this. I was really happy with the look, so the obvious next step was a poolside photo shoot. But there was a problem. The form was there, but the function wasn't. When you stepped on the footrest to sit down, it tipped the bench forward. I clearly needed to create additional legs, but if I had to add extra legs, they needed to be beautiful. So I drew this, then welded these. This is the final creation. Now the function matches the form. It's as sleek and simple as I can make it, and I wanted it to look as if it were only a flat surface, so from anywhere you stand, you only see the top and not the edge. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you enjoy the photos, and I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, visit nickfournier.com, and if you'd like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. And thank you very much for watching.